Hello to all of our dear users and friends in Hyperpix. We're back with one more a new product which our users have welcomed it so much. And as usual, we decided to create a tutorial video about how to work with this product for you so you can see how easy it is to work with this product and have all different glass effects with just a single click and create them and be able to customize easily and level up your projects so much more so as you see in our preview images you can have a complete view on these effects and by setting all the different uh, adjustments and settings you can achieve some new looks and it's so so interesting and easily you can add this 3d and glass effect to your text and also on your logos or images and anything else so as beautiful as you see in this video i'm going to just select a few of these images and test one more time and try this effect so you see how easy it is to work with this product and honestly it's so much fun working with this product so to download just refer to hyperpix.net join the vip account get the membership and just uh, click on the link in the description and you would have access to this product and all the other versions which we're going to uh, publish from glass uh, effect and we also have so many different updates every week and you can use all of our new products every week so let's get started to work with this amazing product so to work with hyperglass volume one first of all we download this file from hyperpix.net unzip and just uh, open the path which is unzipped and as you see it's called hyper glass action roll one so we have two items right here hyper glass action and the texture folders so first of all we need to insert this action into our photoshop we open our photoshop window actions as you see right here you might have many more actions which you have added over here you would uh, be witness of the list or you'll have this a default folder the easiest way to import the actions in Photoshop is to just double click on the action and as you see hyperglass is added to your action so if you wasn't successful with double click just select this icon and uh, choose load actions and import your action so our action is imported successfully as you see uh, we just select an image and just press play easily so this message uh, opens right here so it tells us that in this window which you're going to open and this action you're going to play you need to just follow the texture paths and select your glass effect and some other explanations which I'm going to explain so we just select continue and our default uh, glass effect in Photoshop is added but we want to use the raw one effect so just select load text just from the section right here and what we need to do right now is to just come to where we imported the actions which we had a folder named texture if you remember so we just double click and open this texture folder and as you see we have all of our glass effects right here in this folder so i'm just going to go with one and just select one uh don't worry you can change your selections later on i'm just going to select the fourth one and here we go as you see our glass effect is loaded so right here we have all different options which easily you can just adjust them and work with them we have the scaling uh, which can scale your effect smoothness which can make it much more soft and smooth uh, as its name is so we have destruction which by uh, reducing the number and increasing it is the intensity of your effect on the image which you easily can customize i'm just going to select ok and finally we have our success message which is the explanations i'm going to tell you later on so just select stop and as you see our brilliant glass effect is applied amazing to our image just check out the stunning details honestly it looks fantastic so right here 
the next group we have is in mask group so we have a black mask which this means that the hyperglass effect is working on this section so if I just move this mask section on any part of our image you're going to see that uh, the effect just works on the black section so easily we can just uh, change the size and place on all different parts of my image as you see by dragging it the glass effect is going to just uh, have an effect on that section so I can use all different shapes just notice that you have to work in this group just in this group and the items which are in this group uh, just work uh, on the different parts of your image so I can use all different items as you see all different shapes and also as I explained earlier on you can just change the filter and texture so just select this uh, group select filter gallery and select load texture and right here i'm going to just select one more texture as you see how interesting it is honestly so here we go i'm just going to just click ok and as you see we was able to change our glass effect we have one more section right here uh, which if you double click on the text the window opens and right here uh, we have a blur on our image which you can reduce or increase it which has an effect on your glass effect as you see the difference so easily you can have a control on this section as well so let's try it on a different image one more time I'm going to play the action continue and as fast as you see we just select one texture it doesn't need any extra work or trouble just I'm going to change around some of these uh, adjustments and as you see how easy our glass is applied so I'm going to use a circle this time these are the images we had in the preview and I'm going to try them for you and test so you see how easy it was to create them images so we have the city image right now just select play one more time continue and we just load a texture I'm going to just use this filter this time, which I think it's fantastic. I'm just going to adjust uh, the smoothness a little and perfect. Just select OK and done. As you see, our brilliant glass effect. Uh, but just I want to make some little customizations right here. I'm going to come and create some little uh, rectangular shapes. Just check out how easy it is. One more time and one more here on these buildings I think it's fantastic so I want like a circle shape around them I'm going to select all of them zoom in and uh, take the sharp edges so pay attention to this note right here we have a style right here which gives this glass reflection to the corners of your uh, effect and the opacity also the directions which I think it's super interesting I can uh, increase a little and also the brightness which I can add to the brightness please make sure you do these customize customizations because it has a huge effect on making your style much more pretty also I can make inside the glass much more darker and these uh, little edges at the bottom I'm going to make them blurry and faded like they're growing from the ground so it's not a very hard job all we need to do just select all of these uh, files and make them into a single group uh, select mask select a mask brush I'm going to use a soft brush and just click on the white mask section and slowly slowly uh, from the bottom you can just mask all of these parts which you want them faded so it's absolutely easy and the result is honestly magnificent so let's try it on one more image uh, I'm going to try this mask on a logo display continue and here we go we just select one more texture i think this one's perfect and excellent so we just select okay skip and everything's done just switch off the mask i'm going to insert a logo right now i'll have my logo in the shapes but you can just insert your logo from anywhere else it doesn't make any difference it just has to be in this folder so as you see our glass effect is applied to logo and it looks great so i can make my customizations right here so just the opacity which i'm going to uh, play around with the settings so finally the last image we have right here 
uh, I'm going to try this filter on one text and give a different filter to each parts of the text. So we'll just like play it one more time as usual, continue and done. So I'm going to go with this filter and just select OK and stop. So uh, I'm going to switch off the mask folder and I'm going to type my ideal text right here. Fantastic, so I drag it right in the center and I think it's excellent. So I want each one of these characters to have a special uh, glass effect like the previous. So it's absolutely easy. I'm just going to edit this section right here. Uh, please pay attention, it's very important. So all of these items which uh, accept the background will make them into one single group and what we need to do now just one of these characters you need to mask them. So I'm going to select the first character, which is an S just like this, and select the group and the mask with your selection tools. So as you see, it's masked easily and we just have the S. So now we just select Control and J button and we're going to start with the second character. I'm going to press on this chain and now select the mask and with this move tool I'm going to drag and add this white color to my character so as you see now this U is chosen so I'm going to one more time just select a character for the third one and we select this part and with the move we're going to just drag the mouse and we have our third character as well. So I can uh, place the chains back and what happened now? We have all of our characters separately. So for each one of these groups, you need to select a special effect. This is for the third one, which I'm going to just double click and select one of my uh, glass effects just like this. Just play around with the groups. As you see, the effect has changed. So we select the second character and do the same things which we done earlier on. I'm going to just select this uh, effect, which I think is excellent. And honestly, just check out how fantastic it looks and so many different things you can do with this uh, product. To download, just refer to hyperpix.net, join the VIP membership and check out all of our products and have so much fun. Also, every week we're going to have so many newly added products. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share us with your friends. Bye to one more video.